I want to go over the tax advantages of owning a home-based business. I'm going to do it in black and white, so it's going to be really simple. Meet George and Jane. These two people have a lot of things in, in common. Each of them earns $3,000 a month, and each has a $150,000 mortgage at 6% on their house. The key difference between the two is Jane set up a home-based business. She went to a meeting one night and saw the possibilities of owning her own business and making extra income. So Jane joined a home-based business. Now George was at the same meeting, but George just didn't get it. And so what George did, he didn't even see the advantages to owning a home-based business in his taxes. So he just kept doing what he's been doing, and he just keeps overpaying his income taxes every single month. Now, let's compare how much money they both bring home. Both make $3,000 a month. George pays $500 a month in income tax. But because Jane owns her own business and gets to write off all her business expenses, Jane actually doesn't have to pay income tax every month. George lives on $2,500 a month. Jane lives on $3,000 a month. George has been overpaying his taxes $200 every single month. He gets a $2,400 tax refund every year. He really loves getting that money. Him and his family go on vacation. Jane realized that you're lending money to the government and they're not paying you any interest. She also realized that she could use that money to pay off interest-bearing accounts. So she corrected her income tax by putting the right number of withholding allowances down and so she does not overpay her taxes. Now that means that George has $2,300 a month to live on but Jane still has $3,000 a month to live on. Now their mortgage payments are $900 a month. Available for paying down their mortgage George has nothing extra but Jane now has $700 a month extra because she's not overpaying her taxes and she's not paying any income tax because she has tax deductions. Jane took that $700 and paid off her mortgage. Both of them would be living on exactly the same amount of money every single month. So after five years, George still owes $140,000 on his home. Jane only owes $91,000 on hers simply because she started a home-based business. Now I'm not even counting the income she makes off her home-based business, just the tax advantage. Ten years and seven months into this comparison, George still owes $124,000 on his house. Jane's home is now paid off. She's paid hers off completely using the tax advantages to a home-based business. Jane invests that $1,600 a month that she was paying on her house payment at 9% in her retirement account. Coming from what she was paying on her mortgage and the money she was overpaying on her taxes, she takes the whole $1,600 a month and invested at 9% in her retirement account. So 20 years after we started checking on them, George still owes $81,000 on his mortgage. Jane now has $318,000 in her retirement program and a paid for house. 30 years, George's house is finally paid off, but he has zero in his retirement account. George paid $174,000 in interest alone on that house. Jane not only has her house paid off early, she now has $1.3 million in her retirement program simply because she started a home-based business. Jane only paid $53,000 in interest. Home-based businesses. A home-based business has got to be the answer. Which would you prefer? Sign up for a home-based